fairy loot box. So as you can see, I am kind of a bit lower down. I'm not actually torn off my chair. I've put it down to the loaf. So you guys can see this on the table because I thought, why not show it on the table? So, a little bit better. So this is the March's Fairy Loot, which is their anniversary box. Fairy Loot is a book a subscription box you can get every month with a YA book that is released and a with some bookish goodies. Now everyone has been. I have not seen like any like glimpse of anything, like no spoilers, but I have seen comments saying that the box is not really the worth it. I was like, mm, I'll check it myself. So it's quite heavy. All good. And also, guys, I do have quite. I think I've got quite a few more boxes coming today. Unboxing. So prepare for that. Scissors. So. No, we have crinkle crap. We have crinkle crap. I see a box. I see a box. So this is the theme card, which is the Frozen Fables. And obviously for me, I do read off the back because I don't know anything that's inside it. Okay, so the first item in this month's box is a beautiful ceramic mug inspired by one of the favourite series, The Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. Featuring artwork by the incredible talented Monolar Lime Art. It's perfect for holding hot beverages on a cold winter's evening. Take a peek inside a cute inside to find a cute little snowflakes at the bottom too. So Bear and the Nightingale. So that's what it looks like. The box is really cute. Okay, if not, you can see the snowflake. So I've never read the Bear and the Nightingale, but this cup is beautiful so i'll leave all the items and the people that are from down below for you guys so it's easier and it even have the what the book is also on the bottom which is very helpful this is microwave and dishwasher safe too so that's cool i like that let's move the box over here kind of set these up Okay, so the next item is an accessory phone with a handy phone ring holder. It's inspired by Winterwoods by Shea um, Enstraw and features a stunning design by the amazing Iron Ink Design. So this must be it. I don't use any like pop sockets, so it's in this little envelope. I love how they do these envelopes, it's super cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is what the pop socket looks like. Um, like I said, I don't really use pop sockets, so I'll see how this goes. If I do like it, oh, that's way around. If I do like it, then I will keep it. it says it be your own light on it too. No, it's thick, and you can't see that very well. Okay, so we are Fairy Loot. We are Fairy Loot believes that we can never have too many socks. These adorable socks will keep your feet nice and toasty and inspired by the Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Forkett. Forkett. The, design, the feature a design by the incredible, um, ever credible Jace Hawk. We have socks. We have socks. Okay, so these are what they look like. These are just ankle socks. But they do look quite comfortable. And they have like a little fox design on them. These are like really nice and like blue. They're not like like good texture too nice and stretchy but who doesn't love a good pair of socks me love good socks um i did have the book for that but then i read it i think i read like a couple of pages and i was like mm, i don't know if i like that book so i got rid of a book the next one is this one a notebook is designed by the winter song by s J, uh, J jones and was designed to illustrate by the lovely tara j now you have a beautiful forward notebook to keep all your precious notes in oh, i like that so this is the notebook that the blue it goes with the blue theme um heck yeah that's beautiful I actually love that. Let me just. You guys probably can't see it. I have to work on that. That's a beautiful sign. It is spiral. 
and then on the back we do have a quote a candle unused is nothing but wax and wicks and i would rather light the flame knowing it will go out and then sit forever in darkness that sounds amazing so these are ooh, so this is literally just plain they're not to line or anything so i can get my sketches in here because i am designing um my friend gender reveal cake which i'm so excited Anyway, so use this headband to keep all your unruly hair back. It's inspired of something dark and holy, a series by Emily A. Emily a. Duncan, and features a design with the fantastic Katrina book designs. So we've had a kind of the okay. So the design is this, but it has like two holes. I'm confused. Is it supposed? one minute that's what it looks like i'm not sure if i put it on correctly but the little knot is there and you can see the pattern so it's not too bad i don't mind it but it doesn't suit as well so there's that and my hairs keep getting very static so the headband then it says that this uh the beautiful forward art print is by a uh, spin and silver by naomi novik will be able to be perfect winter addition to your art collection. It features artwork by Rick Warwick Art. Wait. It's at the bottom. Ooh, that is pretty. So as you see in the little corner here, I have right there, I have like loads of pictures. So I'm gonna take a little bit more so up here. This will be a nice little Designed to go on here, you know. It'll go there. So a little nice little photo. I do love doing that, but that's a very nice artwork. I love it. I'll work on the area to get that close up. So anyway, this month's collectible tarot cards are the Ace and Two of Wands. They're designed by the very talented um, I was at twenty eight and inspired by the Winter Night trilogy by Catherine Arden. So I have, like I said, I've never even read. Um, winter nights so and and all that so i don't know who these characters are oops so we have the two of wands and then the ace of wands so we have like so many card like tarot cards by now like i have so many like my pot thing is getting like quite full but these are very very nice i do love these these are very very pretty and then lastly and all oh, i'm quite surprised how i didn't get any of the crinkle crap everywhere comes to the book and I feel like a nice spine on this. I just don't crinkle all over the floor. I jinx myself. So the featuring book of the month is The Bright and the Power by Jessica Rubin Krosky. It is a thrilling a story inspired by the Russian folklore lore. The epic tale is set in a wintry backup, backdrop and is filled with fables, romance, tragedy, magic and monsters. We're going all the customizations against out this month. And you can expect lots of customizations for all of our upcoming boxes too. The additional exclusive cover and shimmery is beige edges. Oh my god. I'll work on the reverse of a dust jacket by um Gabster Not I'm sure if I said that name, I'm so apologize. Then uh follow of Boston on the Kate and the custom end papers designed by Jessica. Make sure to read the letter for the author too and check out the art of grass by the same author as Gabby. So I do love this as well. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Ooh, I see blues what grey spain. Okay, so before we look at the book, we have our little goodies. So we have our fairy scope, which we'll go through in a moment. We have the artwork of the kind of put character of the book and the author letter, which I always put these in the book. Um, and then, give me. You also get part of the book, uh, the uh, bookmark. I actually put these in the book because then when I do my review, I'll be like, well, I got this in this month's box. Which is very, very cool. And then the book. I did not guess this book was going to be this month's box. When I saw the book was going to be this one, I was like, oh, okay. And it's this. Look at that. The book. Look at the spine. This is so pretty. And look, look at the pretty edges. Very really you out always outdone yourself. Every all their books are a flipping amazing guys. They go full out. Even with this this time out, they're literally full on I love spray edges now. They've got me into this. Look at that signature guys. Okay. So let's look at the artwork on the back. 
look at that. That's so flipping pretty. So I think most people, when they want to, they can literally change this round. So like once up in the book, you can always change the covers round, and then it will look like the other way. I might have to do that one day with all my finished books. Okay, and then this is the cut. This is the part back. Look at that. It looks like a necklace that's fallen, falling off. The spine is in silver as well. It's nice blue back as well, and so so pretty. So, let me put the hard pack on. Get it on there. Don't you feel bad when you ever try and put the dress jacket back off or put, or put it back on? It doesn't go right. That's how I feel. So, this is the 17 year old and um, Val Valerina. It's one of the only survivors of the freeze. A dark magical hold, a uh, not mountain unleashed on her village. Everyone, including her family, is trapped in an unbreakable shoe device. Hmm, interesting. Ever since she's been on the run from the castle, who is determined to imprison everyone who had managed to escape, Valerie uh, finds refuge with the Thieves Guild, doing odd jobs with her best friend, Alkali, the only piece of home she has left, that is, until she, until he is brutally murdered. Oh my gosh, uh, well. That is, and, um, a year later, she discovers that Alkali is, is alive and being held against his will. What? So he's whoa. Uh, to bury, to buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a perilous expedition to the very mountains that claimed her family. And if something sinister slumbers in the heart of Nod, and has waited has waited for years for the release. Inspired by the Russian folklore, uh, folklore Jessica Rubinkowski epic fantasy debut is a thrilling page turner with romance, tragedy, magic, and the monsters that will stay with you to the very end. That sounds pretty good. I literally cannot wait to read that. Um, yes, please. So what I'm doing is pretty much in December, mainly I am getting all my books in. So like all the like releases, all the books that I get both in both boxes. But this book, um, yes, please. I actually really enjoyed that. I cannot wait to read this. This book I will be reading this year as well. And I cannot wait. This book is going to be amazing love this anyway let's get to the periscope so the periscope is what you get inside inside we talk about the author stuff like that they actually even have um three new fairies came to the team which is tasmin natasha and nicole um they did that on instagram and they they look so like i love their artwork of this look look how pretty they look um and if you just think like that so this just tells you an author review interview about jessica and how she with the book and everything like that and then the back is about April's theme. So, next month's theme, well, pretty much it's April now, Hidden's Identity. So you might think you know some, who someone truly is, but what if they're keeping a secret? A secret that can change everything for the better for the worse. As, oh crap, Vidurus wisely said, things are not always what they seem, but the first appearance deceives many. In this box, you can expect items inspired by those shadow between us. Have not read the book. The book is literally there, and I'm reading that for June. TBR. The Lord of the Rings. Can't get into that, so that's going to be interesting. City of the Brass. Never even read that. Uh, Flame in the Mist. Never read that either. And a four bookmark set inspired by the fallen fandoms. Oh my god, I cannot. I love four bookmarks. Um, they look so pretty. But the themes are Ember and Ashes. That's just a series. I've got my series here. Hang on. I've got my series here, so my books I got from Fairy Loom. Um, then they have the Puppy, the Poppy War. War. I have never even read that. I saw the Loom Crate covers and I was like, oh, they do look pretty, but I don't think I ever like them. And the Blood Hair. So I've heard, seen that as well on Loom Crate. But also, if you don't know as well, I am getting the other two books from Lenny Teller's books as well from Loom Crate, and they'll be coming at the end of this month. Um, for now, we won't be revealing any item items, artists, but we will say that we are featuring an item in this box that we have never included before. So I'm really like include love that when they include something they've never done before. But it's really interesting. So our feature book of the month is a dark fantasy filled with unforgettable characters, intrigue, intrigue, magic, and a dash of swoon worthy romance. We were hooked from page one, and all the plot twists still have us reeling. This very little exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, stencil sprayed edges, artwork of the reverse of a dust jacket by Alice Marie Power, 
Foil and Bottling of the Case by Talon.Nobel. Bonus content in the book and will be signed by the... Oh, we have bonus content! Yes! Um, so yes, that I'm looking forward to. I love the items in this box. I love the socks. The socks are my favourite. You can't beat socks. Um, I do love all the items in here. And I don't know... But I love the colour scheme. It's like, it literally just blue. I love it. It's so cool. So I'm looking forward to next month's... Well, well April theme. Um, and like, if you don't know as well, I do have... I just said at the beginning, like... I do have quite a few uh, books, uh, sorry, boxes coming this today, I believe. So you might see two more boxes, I think two more boxes are coming today. I will see. I know there's one coming. It might be my big and cherry choices box. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours, I believe. <laughs> Peace. Bye.